Okay, this is uh, our favorite man, and um, John, do you remember his last name? Is this Connor? the tall one? Yeah. Connor, yeah, I think it is. Okay, if anybody's familiar with John Connor, well, you know how this go is probably going to go. Um, so we got Cassie and Andor in a U-Wing, with all his normal shenanigans. <laughs> um, Ray and... F- Alright, so Cassian's got Lando, which allows him to roll two green dice. Any evade results, he gets his evade tokens. Any focus results, he gets his focus tokens. Um, he's got Bistan, which is one of the new cards that come with the U-Wing, that changes a hit to a crit. Um, range 1 to 2, I think. Expertise. He actually has the expertise on both the ships. Um, changes all eyeballs to hits. As long as you're not stressed. Um, he has the Pivot Wing title card, which I believe he has it in the attack configuration, which gives him an extra agility. Um, if he flips it to the other side, he gets the... When he does a stop maneuver, he can rotate his ship 180 degrees. And um, I think he gets stressed for it. Yeah, you take a stress... Well, you take a stress because the stop maneuver is red. Yeah. So you take a stress for stopping. Oh. And then you I, can flip the ship around. I thought it was because of the flip, and I thought it was on any after any maneuver. Hmm. After any maneuver, he can flip over the card. Well, I thought uh, if it was on the maneuver side, not the attack side, he could flip the ship no matter what. I think it's just at the end of the move. Huh. I'll have to look that up. Um, Fire Control Systems is our favorite card that allows us to get a target lock after we perform an attack. Um, And on Ray, he has C-30PO because reasons. Um, Expertise. Uh, Finn. um, Yeah, Finn. Ray and Finn just have to go together. Yes. Uh, engine they upgrade, work. and uh, the old Millennium Falcon title that gives it an evade action. So C-3PO says whenever you roll evade dice, you get to guess what your result is. If you are correct, you get an additional evade. So basically what Ben does is anytime he rolls, he guesses zero. Since there's only one dice, there's either zero or one. He gets one, he gets an evade. He gets zero, he gets an evade. Kind of a good deal. Um, Finn lets you add a die, add a blank to your dice result when they're in your firing art. Ray's ability says you get to re-roll up to two blank results if they're in your firing art. Um, both of those abilities work on attack and defense. Um, there goes the U-Wing. <laughs> so on John's side... We have our love to hate it, Whisper and a Tie Phantom, which has a cloak. And Agent Callus? Shit, what ship did he. So when you start playing, you declare one of your ships to be the, the Falcon. T- Is it the Falcon? Yes. Okay, so. That's it- why it's got that funky little dia- uh, token on it already. Right on. So the Falcon's the target of Agent Callus. Anytime. Uh, Whisper shoots at Agent at the ship that was targeted by Callus. He either gets to change a, I think it's a blank to a hit. No, an eyeball to it. And on defense from that ship that he's targeted, it's um change blank to a evade. Uh, I want to look up Agent Callus. Uh, here I'll do it. Whisper. Also has the standard loadout of Veteran Instinct to get her to PS9. Advanced Cloak, which allows her to cloak whenever she shoots. Um, and, fire, and Fire Control System. It's pretty standard loadout. Um, uh, Sumter Failed is running Push to Limits, Auto Thrusters, Royal Guard tie, and the one thing that I'm not a big fan of, or I don't run that often, is targeting computer instead of stealth device. Targeting computer adds it a adds the uh, target lock action to Sunter Fell to make him a little bit more aggressive, let's say. 
Uh, do you know who uh, Ancient Callus is in? Uh, um, the Gazone? Ga blah, 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 blah. The one that starts with a G. That's an epic show. That one. Um, Duchess has a really cool pile to build. Oh, Sundar Feld's pile of ability is whenever he takes a stress, uh, you get a uh, f focus token. So, okay. <clears throat> Agent Callus, at the start of the first round, choose one enemy, small or large ship. When attacking or defending against that ship, you may change one of your focus results to a either damage or evade. Yeah, depending if you're rolling offense or defense against that ship. Yeah. Oh. Um, Duchess has adaptive ailerons, which Duchess pilot's ability allows her to choose whether or not to use the, the adaptive aileron ability. Uh, and adaptability, which pushed her to a 8, and targeting computer as well, to give her the target lock. So... Ray's already taking some from Duchess. I assume that's from Duchess. And Ray is shooting back on... I don't know who she shot, but she definitely didn't do a darn thing. <laughs> yeah. By the way, he has the biggest freaking cloaking token I think I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But people know it's there, and he knows it's there. Right? He's Don't not, mess that thing. Yeah, he's not likely to forget that he's got a cloak on. So Ray just came Humpty Dumpty up the middle. Well, both of them did, but Ray boosted. Yeah. Mm, Ray cleared some territory. I think he's getting ready to decloak. I would think. I would hope so. Where's he going to decloak to? Don't know. But that's the only reason why he. I think he would have pulled the uh, uh, straight. I just, yeah, that makes sense. I don't. He couldn't have. Yeah. Not, uh, By the way, you gotta love Ray's doll. Yeah. <laughs> the half cloaked doll. Oh. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah, and Ray. Yeah, if everybody knows this, Ray's definitely. The, the whisper ship that's being used is modded aggressively. And so is Suntir Failed. Suntir Failed in this build is in a TIE Hunter, not a TIE Interceptor. I think he modified his ships himself. He did. Yeah, painted them and everything. So they're kind of cool looking. If, if we could zoom in and uh, show you, they'd be, you'd say they're, they're cool looking. Because they're very unique. Yeah, so if you ever get a chance to play against John Connor, ask about his uh, customized ships. <laughs> oh, man. Ray is... Wow. She's closing range. Yeah. I think they're trying... He's trying to take out Duchess straight out. Well, you might uh, as well. She's, I she's, think she's the biggest threat. She's also the easiest kill. She's only got two green dice, and she doesn't have a cloak token to back it up. Yeah. <clears throat> and she doesn't have our shields or anything else. Well, I mean, with the kind of list that um, John's running, it's all about green dice and tokens. Yeah. Keeping those ships alive. And keeping outside of arc. Yeah, but with the Falcon, that's really hard. It's got that 360 turret. Yeah. And so... Dutch just, just did her adaptive aileron and went, I'm Whoop. not going to be here anymore. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think she's still within range two. That might push her to three. Yeah, she, she covered some territory. That's for Oh, her. yeah. Okay. Now, where's he going with... Yeah. John's stuff is really nice. We should ask him where it's at and put it in the description one time. Where he got it from. The... Like the his acrylics and stuff. I love the fact he's got the oddball one for range 2 because of Whisper. Yeah. 
Oh, and so what? <laughs> oh, okay. Barrel. He, he's Where? pushing the limit because he. Uh, oh. Wait, no. He didn't take an evade. No. Didn't take evade. He just barrel rolled. And then he took the stress, so he got a focus token. Yeah, he did push the limit, so oh, then or whatever. Yeah, I think oh, he's yeah. got a shot on Ray's backside. Who mm. the heck keeps whacking? The... Hmm, I'm gonna figure out what's going with this camera. I'm trying to refocus all the time. Anyway, mm. so there's this cute little range one template, which. Yeah, his stuff's really nice. The um, range one actually has uh, spots cut out so that you can mark your ship front or back with the side of it. Um, oh, wow. He is in range with everybody. Well, is Dutch just going to have a shot? Dutch just doesn't have a shot, but he's within range. That's the thing. So if he's in range, she's in range. Gotta love the evade action on Ray. <laughs> nice. Mm. That, that, that's the focus from, or that's the target lock from FCS. Fire Control Systems. Ah. Uh. Wow, that's cool. So range two to, for um yeah. Range two for Sunter failed. Sunter fail. He should have checked his arc though, unless Sunter has No, a, he uh... checked arc. Oh, okay. No, Sunter fails it's a tie interceptor. Yeah. They don't have a three sixty. Yeah. So I know some ties are getting three sixties. Yeah, well that's a wave eleven thing. Yeah. I wasn't sure if anyone had one yet. This was shot a little while ago. Oh. This is about a month old now. Oh, okay. This is one of them you were doing the... Yeah. So if the, the shields and hull get wrong, we can blame it on Pat. Yeah. Unfortunately. Bumping of the ships. The eternal bumping of the ships. Right. We need to get a directional mic for doing this. I just need to get. Uh, I don't know. We'll worry about ma miking the players at some point. So, did Sunterfell push anything through or not? Oh, he no. used his focus. Yeah, he used the focus. Oh, no. Uh, Ray was firing on Sutur failed. Yeah. Dang it. Cassian doesn't get a shot. That's wonderful. Mm, yep. Duchess definitely doesn't get a shot. Yeah, that's... No, Duchess is out of range. So he got two shots off to Ben's one. Mm. Fly better. Hmm. Yes. Can't afford to lose attacks when you only have two ships. It really hurts. Yeah. I would say that. Oh, man. That whisper is actually kind of expensive. So what would you do if you were um, Ben? I was Ben right now? Yeah. I'd probably loop after, uh... <clears throat> well, Ben doesn't have the Duchess. sloop. No, well, I was saying, I would loop after Duchess and, uh... You'd make a hard turn toward Duchess? With toward, the Falcon. Toward, uh, one or two, or... Towards Duchess. The one off to the, uh, at the top yeah, of the screen. Yeah, but a one hard or two hard, or... I'd do a two hard, and then do probably a two, uh... 
I would have uh, swapped, uh, put it to the flight, and gone straight and did a f uh, flipped. Uh, flip the card so you could slip it around next yeah. turn. Well, I would have, I would have uh, uh, flipped it already, and then, uh, which uh, is what he's doing. What he did, yep. He yeah. flips the wings around so he can. Um, now he can make a uh, U-turn real easy because he can use any of his dial, basically any of his dial, and uh, flip it. <sighs> and that's the what? Ewing? Ewing. Ewing. Oh! Uh, oh! Hmm. I don't know if I would have done that with the Falcon. Oh, he, flipped. he did a 3K. Hmm. It gives him a few more options. Well, I mean, I don't know what Sumter Failed can do to not be in his arc. But I don't want to think... I don't think Ban's really okay. trying to go for the... Okay, so with the wings spread, it's increased agility by one. After you execute a maneuver, you may flip this card. Uh... With the wings open, you may reveal a zero maneuver. Yep. Uh, when you re reveal a zero maneuver, you may rotate your ship 180 degrees. Yeah, but the zero maneuver itself is red, yeah. so you're going to take stress for doing that. So, he just upped his agility. Yep. Because the uh, wings close is actually called the landing. And, and attack. This uh, wings open is attack. Oh, look at what Duchess did. Oh, Duchess came right around that firing arc to point at his ass. Yep. Yeah. Well, life happens. <laughs> Gotta anticipate some of them. But Ooh. I think he's going after uh, Ray. No, Ray is going after. Well, because John just measured. Um, for, that was for the target yeah, lock. Yeah, target lock. Yeah, so the target lock did fall on Ray. Oh, jeez. Yeah, soon tier fail is going to be an art. But I think for John, this isn't a problem because soon tier fail isn't the... where the attention is right this second. And he has enough, uh, enough ships that he can uh, distribute his... Uh... But, yep, he tokened up because there's no where, way he's getting out of there. Yeah. Distribute where his, uh, where everyone else's focus is. So there's two focuses in an evade on Sinjir Felt and a stress token. The way that works is you take focus and evade, you receive the stress for using push the limit, and that triggers his pilot ability that gives him an additional focus token. Nice. Gotta love Imperials, right? Oh yeah, sometimes. I think he is in the landing mode. He yep. only rolled one dice. Even though landing's... Well, I think he's done the wings. Uh, I think he went after Ray. Did he go for Ray? I think so. Because he also re-rolled. And by the way, Ray has uh, a stress on her, so she can't use expertise right now. Okay, let's... Yeah, because there's two dice. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So that's Ray taking damage. I'm guessing that was Whisper firing on Ray? Yeah. Some tears at range two of Cassian, and I can't tell what was his results. Uh, I think he did three attack. Got three attack. 
you get anything through? <laughs> I might have gotten one. He used a focus to uh, switch one of his attacks to uh, a, a hit. hit. I'm guessing uh, Ben used Lando so he had a bunch of evade tokens. Yeah, probably. Oh, and surprise, surprise, Duchess is, doesn't look like she's going to take the range one shot on Cassian's butt. Break out the laser. Says range three of Ray. What are they measuring the heck out of? I don't know. Is there a question whether there's an arc there? I don't think so. No obstacles hiding underneath that bastard. Mm. <laughs> One of the matches, the match in the second round. Um, one of the uh, asteroids was completely obscured. I think he was determining it for uh, Ben and Ray, or Ray and uh, Finn. Ah, figure out if Finn actually or Ray actually had arc. Yeah. So if Finn, so Finn can do his thing and Ray can do hers. Okay. Huh. Hey, look, Dutch just took some pain. Yeah. Finally. Dials. Where would you go with Ray? Where would you take that Falcon? I do an easy two, uh, easy one, maybe an easy two. Easy one toward the bottom of the board or the top of the board? Top. Because, like I said, I'd focus on Duchess. She's the easiest to take out and. Potentially could do the most damage. You don't think one Duchess does gonna do just a burn and run maneuver? Like do a one bank and then a three straight or a four straight? If you do a one easy one, that would still put Duchess in range. And well, Duchess has adaptive battle on, so she'll do arc. an easy one toward the bottom of the map to bring her back a little bit. And then she just burns like four straight to clear out of um, Ray's art, assuming Ray's going to try to turn into her. Um, with uh, Adaptive Ailon. Well, I was saying with uh, the other one. Uh, uh, he's probably just going to park it. Carson, I'd flip just it around. do a flip. I'd yeah, he's going to do a stop. I, I, would, I would do a stop and just do a flip it 180 degrees. But he doesn't have it in the right configuration. Um, it, it really depends on which car, which way the card's facing. Yeah. And I think he's doing it opposite. Oh, okay. So Whisper's sliding over. Yeah. Gotta love the decloak, right? <laughs> it can play weird stuff on what you're doing. Decloak gives Whisper a surprising amount of maneuverability. Oh, yeah. Especially since you don't actually have to declare where the decloak is going until the beginning of the con... Well... You have to declare it at the beginning of the combat phase. Yeah. Uh, but that's how that's just by how you lay the uh, te the maneuver template. Mm-hmm. It's not a... And I don't think anybody's seen Echo in a minute because he uses the two bank instead of the one str two straight. That's an interesting... He's a lower yep. PS skill, so he, he did, does a, He did do the... Uh, just he did flip the flip. It. 
as I thought he would do. Which is going to mean that I seriously doubt Duchess is going to probably go flying by him. And even if Duchess doesn't fly past him... He's um, still going to have some type of a shot this time. Duchess can either bank in and hit him, or just go ahead and burn on past. Yeah. I'm not saying it's necessarily she'll have a shot on... Uh, he'll have a shot on Duchess or anything. Oh, I did a one straight. Huh. <laughs> Well, problem but is, at least now he has shots. Duchess could run... Well, it's really hard to block Duchess. Mm. Unless she wants to be blocked. Yeah. And there comes Whisper right up his backside. Yep. Oh, man. That's a five dice attack there. Ooh. Yeah, but his Whisper's four to begin with. And he's at, Ow. Range one, so yeah... He's taking five in the ass, and he only has one. Uh, well, you got to keep evade. in mind he's got one With, evade. He yeah. can take an evade token. Yeah. So he's got two guaranteed evades. Yeah. But that's five dice against two guaranteed. Oh, that's not good. Uh, here comes adaptive. She's going into uh, Carson's arc, but out of land, out of rays. Ray can still engage her. Yeah. She can... Uh, Ray can still engage, but she doesn't get her shenanigans. This is a high PS game. The lowest mm -hmm. pilot skill on the board is... Cassian Andor... Or, at six. Yeah, he's at six. By the way, that's a he. Oh. Have you seen Force Awakens? Yeah. Not Force Awakens, but... Um, Rogue One? Yeah. Hit the one with the sniper rifle? Yeah. Uh, here comes his action, which is a barrel roll, which is smart. It gets him out of uh, rain, out of uh, arc. Pulls him out of Cassian's but arc. he's got arc. And he's, yeah, that's And push the limit line. and... Take a target lock. A target lock... And then he gets a focus for the stress. Nice. Yeah. Target and focus. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Oh, wow. He's all... all of them are John is one. on his game, that's for sure. Yep. Everything at range one and... There goes one target lock and two hits. One hit. Oh, uh, no. Crit. Cool. Ray is not long for this world. No. Especially not with a five come up or butt. Uh, wasn't that the five right there? No, I think it was a four. It was a four. Did he not get anything through on Cassian? Uh, he used Duchess. Wait, no. Oh. Are you just being slow? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah. No, I think he used, uh... Huh? Oh. Oh. Uh, one defense dice. Yeah. And it was a blank. Oh, yeah. I think Ray just bit it there. Yep, raise off the table. Yep. Well, if Duchess had killed her, she would have got a retaliation because of um, being equal pilot skill. Ah. Uh -huh. They're both pilot skill eight. That's the simultaneous fire rule? Yeah. So if a pilot <laughs> dies on, he, on the pilot skill of that he is... He still gets to shoot because of simultaneous fire. Yeah. Ooh. Cassian's got a lot of work. Well, he took Duchess. But he got Duchess. He got some MOV out of this one. 
but Whisper and Sinter Feld are not the two people you want to be standing with an with a U wing. Yeah. It's not it's not a good plan. Um jeez, I don't know. If you can figure out how to block one, then shoot on the other one, but not having a thirty sixty doesn't really prevents a lot of your versatility. Yeah. And you Sundar Feld can be blocked. Um Dutch is not so much. No, uh, you mean Whisper? Whisper not. Well, either Whisper or Dutch is really hard yeah. to block. Because they both have that early game kind of funkiness that can help them get into a position where they can get a clear move. Yeah. Um, Whisper does it by decloaking. Um, Dutch just does it by doing the adaptive ailerons. He's coming forward. Oh lord! I don't. Well, mm. uh, I think it might uh, take him out of uh, Suntir's arc. Well, Suntir hasn't moved. Yeah, that's why I said it might. And Suntir's honestly, I'd probably do a hard two turning in, swing in for two, um, which is probably going to give him art. Why do you roll? Oh. That's okay, Lando. Yeah. Lando, okay, Oh, jeez, yeah. he got two focuses out of Lando? Oh. I don't even want to think about the odds of that. <laughs> oh, yeah, he just, too hard. Yeah. And he left Duchess, or Whisper, cloaked. Oh. So Whisper can't attack this round. Interesting, but Whisper's also got oh four dice, four defense dice. Oh lord! Against three, no four attack. So it's an even attack. No, it's three. Cassian's only got three. He's in range one. Oh huh, yeah. So it's four attack versus four defense. Hmm. What in the? Bloody heck is the statistics on that one. Do they have any... Oh, he's got a focus token. He's got two. Is that an evade? I believe so. Yeah. Because he just pulled it off. <laughs> that is not very promising. This is the average damage. Point seven six nine damage. <laughs> wow. Point seven nine six. Sorry oh, guys. Nine six. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bob yeah. That. He didn't get any on whisper. So about what we thought. Yeah. I mean, there there was mm -hmm. a fair chance he would slip one through, but yeah, not a great chance. Oh man. That's rough. Yeah. Now, where do you go if you're the U wing? Ah. Whispers the oddball. Yeah, but. Yeah, Whisp. Whisp. Yeah. I would have hard turned um, to the. You know, right? With he banked to the left, <sighs> but Whisper still has to go. Yeah, that's true. But I'd want uh... Whisper so often does barrel roll one hard. I was gonna do barrel roll two hard. Which... That's good, it's... but soon Tierfeld's gonna just crawl up his butt and shoot him yeah. from behind. You need they, to make some good attacks here. And, and now he has no attacks he can do. Hard one. Put him right in arc. Was good enough. And he's going to boost one that puts him right in there at range one. Yep. Range one plus uh, plus his shenanigans. And so I think he Lando, target locked. Did he land though for an evade? Uh, yeah. Mm. He's got an evade token on him. Yeah. Movie. And he just used his focus. 
Yeah, he used... Well, yeah, but Ewing's not going to shoot yeah. back at him. The Ewing's not going to shoot at all. And Looks that's like it. That's it. Oh. Ewing just does not stand up against Aces. Sorry, guys. No. 